This might be the last time that any AI is better than Grok. Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell that's rocking the AI universe. His latest creation, Grok 3, is in its final stages and is already claiming to outperform every chatbot out there, even as ChatGPT5 looms on the horizon as the next big leap from OpenAI. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Musk recently made an unprecedented $97.4 billion offer to buy OpenAI, only to have his proposal met with a stunning rejection from Sam Altman. So what's really going on between Musk and OpenAI? How do Musk's radical plans with Grok 3 and the anticipated power of chat, GPT-5, stack up against each other? Let's dive deep into this electrifying tech showdown. Elon Musk has always been a visionary when it comes to technology. In 2015, he co-founded OpenAI with the noble goal of creating safe, open-source AI for the benefit of humanity. But as OpenAI evolved and shifted toward a profit-driven model, Musk grew increasingly frustrated. He saw the company moving away from its original mission, and ultimately, he stepped away. Now, Musk is fighting back with his own groundbreaking AI system. Grok 3, developed by his company XAI, Musk insists that Grok 3 isn't just another chatbot, it's a revolutionary leap forward in artificial intelligence. According to him, here's what sets it apart. Lightning fast, real-time intelligence. Grok 3, leverages live data from X, formerly Twitter, to deliver instant up-to-the-minute responses. Whether it's breaking news or trending topics, Grok 3 is built to keep pace with the ever-changing digital landscape. Unmatched precision and context. By harnessing real-time information and cultural context, Grok 3 aims to provide responses that are not only fast, but incredibly accurate and contextually rich. Imagine an AI that truly understands your question and the context behind it, delivering insights that feel almost human. A commitment to openness. Unlike many competitors locked behind expensive subscriptions and proprietary systems, Grok3 is being developed as an open source platform. Musk's vision is to democratize access to advanced AI, empowering developers, researchers, and businesses to innovate without barriers. Meanwhile, Sam Altman provided a detailed roadmap update for GPT 4.5 and GPT 5. And here's exactly what he said. We want AI to just work for you. We realize how complicated our model and product offerings have gotten. We hate the model picker as much as you do and want to return to magic unified intelligence. We will next ship GPT 4.5 the model we called Orion internally as our last non-chain of thought model. After that, a top goal for us is to unify O series models and GPT series models by creating systems that can use all our tools, know when to think for a long time or not, and generally be useful for a very wide range of tasks. In both ChatGPT and our API, we will release GPT-5 as a system that integrates a lot of our technology, including O3. We will no longer ship O3 as a standalone model. The free tier of ChatGPT will get unlimited chat access to GPT-5 at the standard intelligence setting, subject to abuse thresholds, plus subscribers will be able to run GPT-5 at a higher level of intelligence, and pro subscribers will be able to run GPT-5 at an even higher level of intelligence. These models will incorporate voice, canvas, search, deep research, and more. Altman's update paints a picture of a more unified and intuitive AI ecosystem aimed at simplifying the user experience. While critics argue that this approach still leans toward a proprietary model, supporters believe it could revolutionize how everyday users interact with cutting edge AI. While Grok3 champions real-time intelligence and open source innovation, ChatGPT5 is geared toward pushing the boundaries of interaction and sophisticated reasoning. Elon Musk has been vocal about his frustrations with OpenAI's shift from its non-profit origins. In a recent statement, he laid out his concerns. I think the evidence is there in that OpenAI has gotten this far while having at least a sort of dual profit, non-profit role. What they're trying to do now is completely delete the non-profit. And, 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 and that seems really going too far. The... I, I provided all of the funding for OpenAI in the beginning for the first almost $50 million for nothing. 
for as a nonprofit, and it was meant to be open source. And so, you know, I think this is analogous to like if you pay a bunch, uh, if you fund a nonprofit to preserve the Amazon rainforest, but then they, but instead they turn into a lumber company and, and chop down the trees and sell them for wood. You'd be like, wait a second, that's the exact opposite of what I paid, what I donated the money for. Musk's statement underscores his belief that OpenAI has abandoned its original mission, prioritizing commercial interests over public benefit. This latest criticism fuels the ongoing clash between Musk and OpenAI leadership, with broader implications for the future of AI ethics and corporate governance. While Musk criticizes OpenAI for becoming too profit-driven, Sam Altman presents a very different perspective. In a recent conversation, he downplayed any personal financial gains from OpenAI. You make a lot of money, do you? I make, no. I paid enough for health insurance. I have no equity in OpenAI. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. You need a lawyer. I need a what? You need a lawyer or an agent. I, I'm doing this because I love it. Altman's statement suggests that his motivation for leading OpenAI isn't financial, but rather a passion for AI and its potential. However, this has sparked debates about transparency. If Altman truly has no equity in OpenAI, who is profiting from its massive valuation and partnerships? Critics argue that even if Altman himself isn't taking direct financial gains, OpenAI's shift towards corporate deals and closed source models still contradicts its founding principles. Discover groundbreaking innovations, subscribe now, and explore the future.